Today, T takes on upgrading my Ender 3 with linear rails. I first get started by removing the spool of filament, spoke alarm mount, LED lights, Raspberry Pi, filament guide, bed, and filament holder. I then proceed to remove the top crossbar, threaded rod for the Z-axis, and the X-axis gantry. Next, I focus on the Y-axis by removing the stepper motor and the entire axis assembly by removing the two screws from underneath the printer. Before installing the rails, I make sure to lubricate each one with machine oil, spread it out, and wipe off any excess with a towel. Using the included 6mm spacer, M4 screws, and T-slot nuts, I secure the Y-axis to the bottom frame, making sure it is properly pushed up against the right side. I tap a M3 screw hole into the included Y-axis end stop mount, secure the switch, and properly mount it near the Y-axis stepper motor. Using the included 32 M3 screws and T-slot nuts, I attach the linear rails to the inside slots of the vertical frame. I replace the top crossbar and prep the X gantry by removing the stepper motor from the old rail system and installing it on the new one. I use some previously printed red gantry hangers to help fasten the X gantry to the carriages on the linear rails, tighten up the belt on the X axis, and give it a quick vertical drop test. Using the included screws and spacers, I attach the extruder to the back side of the gantry. I use the lock nuts from the older V wheels and attach them to the screws here. And just because I still had it, I installed the plate for the dual Z axis on the right side of the printer. I did have to print three additional spacers before doing this upgrade. I attached the hot end to the standoffs on the X gantry carriage and securely fastened my CR touch. I then insert and align the threaded rod on both sides of the printer. Off camera, I installed the end stop mount and switch for the X axis. I then set up the timing belt and tensioner for the dual Z axis rods. From here, I simply reinstall the bed by inserting the springs and fastening the knobs. I did have to go back to the factory knobs as my printed ones were interfering with the frame underneath the bed. I lower the X gantry, move the nozzle to the left edge of the bed, and adjust the end stop switch. I then install the Z end stop switch to the included mount at the bottom left of the printer. The only thing left is to reinstall all of the printer upgrades and add-ons. I will have to reprint some of the items, such as the LED light bar and filament guide, but for now, I once again have a functional 3D printer. While I was finishing up, I decided to part ways with my magnetic PEI sheet and go with a glass bed for a while. So here's the quick before and after. On the left is the before the linear rails, and on the right is after. Can you tell the difference? Is it worth the upgrade? For me, the print quality difference is negligible, but the structural integrity of the printer is significant. I don't have to worry about the X gantry sagging anymore or wearing out the V wheels. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For now, I'll catch you in the next T Takes On.